guys. Look what we have here. We've decided to get ourselves new pets. Little ants this time. Ants are incredible creatures. It's so interesting to watch them. We've purchased a whole house for them, an ant farm. But we need to assemble it first. Are we going to be antsologists? No, Sam. Ants are studied by myrmecologists. And we'll just be keeping the ants at home. Let's see what's inside. Here are all the parts. I think I need to remove this protective layer. <laughs> cool! Give a thumbs up if you like removing protective layers from devices. Right, like this, till the last strip. All the parts are clean! And here, we have pads for our ants. We need to assemble them in a certain order. Here's their running ground. Next, we'll need this blue sponge. Let's soak it in warm water. Squeeze the water out. And place it into this cavity. The sponge will create humidity, without which the ants will die. Let's pull the sponge through this opening. Now, we'll take these five plastic frames and put them together neatly and secure them with screws. And another one. Now, let's insert the screws into the openings, like this. We need to insert screws into each empty opening. And now, let's connect the sidewall. This will be the entrance for the ants. Now we'll screw everything in place, but not too tight or the plastic will crack. Done! Let's set this aside. We'll take the base and attach transparent walls to it. And the right wall. Let's take the third wall and attach it carefully. And now comes an exciting moment. We're connecting the rooms to the house. I feel like an ant builder. To make the walls hold, we'll fix them with rubber bands. Oh, I love this. It's so relaxing, guys. And on the other side. We're done with the walls. Now let's secure the bottom. The walls are secure, so now it's time for the roof. Ta-da! The roof shouldn't have any holes. To fix that, we'll use these two parts that will make the cover. And this net. These? Again? No, Sammy. This won't let the ants escape. Phew. I've inserted the net between two parts. Now let's secure them with the screws. And on the other side. Let's cover our roof. And plug the back door to make sure the ants stay inside. We'll have the front door on the other side where our friends will enter the house. Here, we have a tube that we need to fill with water. And here's a sponge plug. Let's insert it into a special opening. The moisture will gradually fill all the rooms of the formicarium. The house is moisturized! Now we only need to add these steps at the entrance. A kind of a porch! Dinner is set. Awesome, Sammy! Let the ants in! Here are our residents. Let's take the cotton ball out. Here we have a special tunnel which we'll insert quickly and insert the other end into the house. Yay! The first resident! <laughs> Here comes the second one! We really hope our ants will be comfortable in this house. Our ants are called Cataglyphus enosins, runner ants, which live mostly in grasslands but also in semi-deserts and deserts. Actually, there are so many ants on Earth that currently there are one million ants per human being. 
The common worker ant lives from 90 days to 3 years, and the ant queen can reign for up to 30 years. Look! Look! It's lifting something. Ants can carry weights 5,000 times heavier than their own weight. Can you imagine that? Our ants are called runners because they are incredibly fast. They run faster than any other species of ant because they can lift their abdomen in a special way. Ants don't have ears. How can they hear? Ants hear with their knees and feet. They sense vibrations from their surroundings. They're always in a hurry. No wonder ants are a symbol of hard work. Get inspired while looking at them, Sammy. I'm already so inspired. And I'm ready to do something useful. Really? Like what? Like come up with a name for our new ant farm. Oh no, Sammy. I'll give you another task if you're feeling so inspired. Because we'll ask our viewers to come up with a name for our ant house. Yes! Write the names in the comments. We'll select the most interesting one. Bye-bye. See you soon. We'll keep you updated. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like the ant video. If we get it to 5,000 thumbs up, we promise to shoot another video about them. everyone, it's me again and my aunt friend. Hey! That's right, my friend Susie too. Hello! Guys, we're really happy that you liked our video about ants. Give a thumbs up if you saw it! The ants are doing great. Look at them go! But we decided that one farm isn't enough. And we're going to make an amazing big house for our new ant colony! It'll be sea themed. Yes, they're going to live almost like on a seashore. I really hope they like it. Of course they will. Even I already like it, even though I haven't seen it yet. Show me! Of course, Sammy. Not only show, but tell as well. This ant farm kit has the main box or the arena. The ants can go for a walk here, and that's where we'll place the decor. We have wonderful decorations. The sand, colorful pebbles, and even a turtle. We'll decorate the house so well! There's also pathways, special vials, huh, not sure what for, but I think for water. What are these plastic thingies for? Those are plugs. We'll install them to let the ants know where they can go and where they can't. There are plugs with openings, they're doors. And there are solid plugs, they're walls. Clever. There's also some food, a uh, cleaning brush, and a magnifying glass. Oh, to see the ants better! Yep. Let's assemble the ant farm! Our ants can't wait to move into their new home! Let's go! First, we need to connect the arena and the pathways. The pathways are divided into two sections. One section will be closed for now. The ant colony needs to grow first. Part of each section needs to be moisturized. Look, there's special plaster covering to give the ants necessary humidity. Oh, fine. I think you've already explained why ants need wet chambers, but I forgot. I'll explain again. Ants need wet chambers for their babies to grow during the early stages. When they grow up a bit, they are taken to the dry chambers. That's why it's very important to keep the formicarium humid enough. What are they gonna do here? Stroll around and have fun? Huh, well, almost. We can leave drinking water and food in the arena, and they'll take out their rubbish there. Then they need the necessary cleaning equipment! No, Sammy. They'll deal with the rubbish themselves. We'll only need to remove it from time to time. Oh, all right. So let's set the plugs in places. First, we'll insert the solid plugs. By the way, if we want to enlarge our colony, we can connect additional pathways here. Oh, I want a really large colony! I'll be the first lime ant farmer! <laughs> Why not? All plugs are in their places. Connect the pathways to the arena carefully. We'll need this tube to do it. It'll be a crossway. Let's insert it into the opening in the arena and connect it to the pathways. Like this. And done! Shall we invite the ants now? No, Sammy. First we need to moisturize the chambers, remember? Yes, I do, but but but… Fine, fine, let's see. Like I said, there are two places for moisturizing. Here and here. When the colony is small, moisturizing one section is enough. We can add some water from a special dropper. Or set an automatic moisturizer. I'm all for automatic moisturizing. <laughs> all right. Then let's fill this vial with water. It's important to use only the purest water. 
Now I'll plug the vial with a special sponge. Turn it over… And place it onto its place. Now the formicarium will be moisturized automatically. Oh, just like in the first formicarium! That's right! Look, the plaster's turning gray. You did everything right! Aha! So the second vial is for the second moisturizer. And the third one? It's a drinking bowl. Let's assemble a stand for it. We'll insert these pieces here. And place the vial with water and a sponge here. Now let's place it into the arena. Now what? Decorating? Oh no, Sammy. We can start decorating only after the ants settle in. Come, let's invite them into their new apartment! Yay! Right. Let's cover the pathways to make them dark and cozy for the ants. I'll give them some seeds to snack on. Make sure the food doesn't block the entrance to the pathways. And now we can let the ants out! Cotton pad away! And now? And now we wait, Sammy. It can take some time. All right, I'm ready to watch! The ants are actively exploring their new home. They seem to be interested in water. Sure, water is very important. <gasps> He's drinking water! Good for him. Looks like they started stashing food. Oh, then they liked the food. No wonder. They have a selection of three meals. They're so clever. They know exactly what to do. Come on, come on, you can do it. I know. Ants are very strong. Yay, they've discovered the entrance to the pathways. Oh, yes, they're exploring them. Wonderful. Susie, are these the same ants as the first ant farm? No, Sammy. We have runner ants there. And these are harvester ants. Messor struck doors. Harvesters. They harvest grains? They like seeds very much. They use their mandibles to grind seeds into flour to feed baby ants. Wow! They are walking mills. <laughs> Something like that. Right. All the ants are in the formicarium. We can remove this. And that as well. Can now we decorate? Yes, Sammy. We can start. It's important to keep in mind that all decor elements should be clean. Huh, so a stone from the street won't do? What? No, Sammy, it certainly won't. It's better not to give the ants any items from the street, including food. So we're going to have some sand. And colored pebbles will imitate the sea. Beautiful. I wouldn't mind living here myself. Well, you have to become tiny for that. Oh, no. I like my size. All right, then bring me some artificial plants. A moment. And I'll place these pretty stones here. Plant delivery! <laughs> Thanks! Let's place them here. And let's offer a pretty friend for our ants. Oh, awesome! Great! I hope the ants like it too. Listen, Susie, do the ants have enough air? Oh, sure, Sammy. Actually, ants don't have lungs, like many other animals. They have their own breathing system. And they also have two stomachs. They process food in one for themselves, and they keep food to share with the other ants in the second stomach. Oh, that's some friendship. <laughs> well, it's efficient for them. And I love watching them move their antennae, as if they're sniffing out something. Well, that's actually what they do. They feel the world around them that way. Susie, what size will this colony be? I don't know, Sammy. Harvester ants can create colonies from 500 to 50,000 specimens, so we can only watch and wait. Wow! Ants are amazing creatures! I'm glad we started one more colony! We can compare the behavior of the two species now! Guys! If you liked our new colony, give a thumbs up! And if we get this video to 10,000 thumbs up, we'll shoot another video about our ants! Subscribe to the channel to see even more interesting and educational videos about animals and things around us. Bye-bye!